Hey you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. This particular message was based upon a dream that God had gave me last night. Um, while I was sitting, um, meditating on God, he gave me more clarity. Um, while I was out running my errands on what the dream means. And um, this particular dream, these people, they are jealous of you. They are very, very jealous of you. Um, in the dream, it was a person... They were doing a speaking engagement and their ex-boyfriend had showed up um, to the speaking engagement. The best, uh, the person, the best friend was there and the person was pretty much asking the ex to leave. Like, you know, you are not welcome here at this speaking engagement because they was trying to start mischief or whatever. You're not invited. This is invite only. Um, I prefer... I prefer and I would like for you to leave the premises because this event is not for you, okay? Um, and um, so while the person was asking the ex to leave the premises, the best friend was just like, well, oh, I'll just take them home. Like, I'll just take them home so you don't have to worry about it. I'll just take them so you don't have to call the police or whatever. I'll just take them or whatever. I'll just take the person home um, to get the person off the premises for you. Adding like they was trying to help you, right? A few minutes later, these two people came back together. And when they came back to the premises together, the best friend and the ex-boyfriend came back to the premises together. The best friend had a nerve to tell you or was telling you, well, we're together. So we're together now and he's my plus one and um, we're seeing each other one day and you should allow him to come and attend. You laughed and you chuckled. The person laughed and chuckled it off. The person in the um, dream laughed and chuckled it off and it was like i want both of y'all to leave the premises both of y'all are not welcome we're not going to do this at my event and god wants me to let this person know whoever this is for because people do do stuff like this god is saying they are very jealous of you if this transpire or is about to happen cut ties and the reason why this is going to happen or has already happened because these people can't go with you in 2024 um there's nothing worse than a jealous friend and a jealous boyfriend. And there's nothing worse than both of these ex-boyfriends, I'm sorry. And then there, there's nothing worse with these two people trying to work together to try to come against you. But it's not going to work. Um, it even actually backfired in the dream because like once you had asked them to leave, it was just like they were teaming up with each other to try to get back at you. Um, but when it didn't work, they both went their separate ways and they had no dealings with each other no more. They were just trying to do it to be spiteful to get back at you because both of them are jealous of your success. I'm telling you guys, everybody can't handle your success. Also, God want me to let y'all women know, women and men know. You can't let everybody know who you're dating. If God is allowing you to date someone and you know this person is for you, you can't let everybody know who you're dating. Because we do have spiteful people that will try to go and break up your relationship or they'll try to go and get with some of your exes to get back at you just to be petty. You have to move in secrecy and silence. And then the reason why this is not going to work too because god is elevating his children to a whole different level and when after after god gave me the confirmation in that dream I, I prayed and i told god i said god let your children get to a level that their enemies will no longer have access to them and if god is raising you to this level you're gonna have to cut these people off because in the rooms that god is about to take you in these people are not gonna have access so that's why god is allowing them to act this way that's why god is allowing them to reveal who they truly are because they can't go with you to this next level all right um, because they will try to, um, basically try to ruin your character, try to ruin your reach, try to ruin, um, just try to make you seem like you someone that you're not. And that's the spirit of jealousy. That's the spirit of envy. And God wants me to come and tell his children, whoever this is for, when this transpires and this happens, like in a, like in a dream, the person was chuckling about it because it was like, it's childish. And thank you for revealing to me who you are. But don't even let this bother you. Because the, de the devil is only attacking you because you're a threat. And like I said, both of these people, they're very, very jealous of you. And for whoever this message is for, thank you, Holy Spirit. The man name, the ex-boyfriend name in the dream was Malcolm. I don't know um, if that might resonate with someone. Maybe you have an ex or maybe you're feeling like your boyfriend or whoever you're with 
who name is Malcolm or doing these type of things. If it is so, be very mindful, pay very close attention. But if this if people are doing you this way, it's time to cut ties. Y'all, I had spiteful friends that will go befriend other people to try to get back at me or try to go befriend enemies so they can try to fight me because they have an underlying issue with me. But man, you supposed to be best friends. Man, you supposed to be like sisters, right? When people start to show you who they are, my father always told me this. When people start to show you who they are, believe them. And like I said, it's not going to work. They're going to be so embarrassed for how they did you. And people are even going to look at them like, why would you do this person like this? Especially when you know that for one, it's over. Especially if it's an ex. For one, it's over. She done made it clear that she don't want you no more. Like, why would you try to go and talk to her best friend when you know good and well that's not going to make her want you bad. That's going to make her despise you even more. And now her friendship with her best friend who really wasn't a friend to begin with that would do a person like that is ruined so god will use our enemies to help expose other people too thank you holy spirit so if that case if that case and if that if that is the case and that happens to someone god is going to allow that to happen so he can expose the best friend to you because like i said that best friend cannot be close to you in this season for where god is taking you to all right um our biggest enemies are the one in our circle those are the most threats to us and it's like this person you were kind of feeling like this person had something against you because of the things that they said but it's going to really start to re they really going to start to reveal themselves so i always pray and ask god to show you their circle but however if this happens like i said if this is the case god is saying they are very jealous of you um and if this transpire before the year is out you need to cut ties and cut ties and be done completely because they can't go into 2024 with you because where God is elevating you to and taking you to, you don't need the drama. You don't need the distractions. You don't need the mess. Um, and God has better in store for you. All right. So just want to come and share this message. God is clearly saying they are jealous of you. Okay. If they, this is trans, if this transpire, it has already transpired. They're doing this because they are jealous of you. And when they act this way, and when they show out this way and it transpires, cut ties because God has greater and God has better. All right, you guys. I love you all. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will chat with you all later.